Hey folks, Tipik here and welcome to this tutorial on how to build a system that makes energy conduits. Um, I have this system set up in my main LP world and I thought I'd share how to build it. So, you need a few things to get started. First of all, you need power supply for three items. You need power supply for the ME controller, for the magma crucible and the liquid transposer. These are the main items of this. To set this system up, place down the controller and make sure that it's powered up. Perfect. Then you need to place down the magma crucible like so and the liquid transposer. Now there are a few things you need to set. I clear these by shift uh, right clicking by the way or shift clicking actually works. Um, but the top slot is where we'll input stuff on this one and it will output whatever it uh, makes through the right hand side and if I break this one you see it's going out this way perfect then on this one you can clear all the settings it will input on the top input on the left and output on the right so it will now take anything that I smelt in here and put it in here now to make an energy conduit you need first of all an energy conduit empty oh <laughs> like so you need to figure out yourself how to make the electrum uh, but basically you need to make blend and smelt that and this shouldn't be too uh, involved to make hardened glass it's the same you need to smelt that up you can do that with normal smelting recipes uh, and pre-craft everything or set up an automated system I might show how to do that later but it's basically the same concept that's uh, this balancer here you can have it craft whatever you want and yeah you will then need to get some interfaces now we're gonna do something a bit special here we'll place one interface on top here this is the input interface and we'll place one here this is the output. Anything that goes into this will go on into that. I'll use red cabling here to show the main network. And we'll have that go from this crafter here. Not into that one because we'll place another interface here in a second. And then just on like so. I should be able to place down the other items now. Because we need storage buses to set this up. Oh, that's not going to work. Um, let me get some other f colored ones. We can use yellow. Colors don't really matter. Just make sure that you have your system set up so that, uh, for instance, this one does not connect to this. There we go. And we make sure that they face the correct way, like so. Now, they do not connect. And the controller is all happy. Perfect. Now, if I place this interface down here, this controller will not be happy at all. If we go to this, unable to communicate. It's because we have two controllers, but here's the trick. You need to take this wrench and whack this one until the arrow is pointing oh, towards this block. Perfect. Now... This one can communicate again, and this one is totally separated. Perfect! Now, all you need to do now is set up the import and export. Now, how much do we need for a conduit? A conduit is made with one empty one and 200 millibuckets of liquid or destabilized redstone. Destabilized redstone is crafted using two of these. So one, two makes 200 millibuckets. And uh, then of course we need the conduit. I'll just grab a bunch here. I will put it in there and that's enough. And it will be exported. Perfect. So tell this, what are the dogs doing? Tell this storage bus to insert only, same for this one, so it ac won't accidentally pull out. I don't think it does, but it's good to be sure. Now, tell the first one on the magma crucible to 
take redstone. Tell the other one to take conduits. And we're almost done. What do we need to do next? Well, we need to make a recipe for this. I have already pre-made the recipe here, but it is important that you make sure it's two redstone and one energy conduit makes one energy conduit, okay? So it should look like this. Craft one redstone energy conduit with two redstone and one empty one. Perfect. Now, you put this into this particular interface. Craft that. If I now put redstone and that in, I can tell this one to craft conduits. So let's do that wirelessly and take a look at what happens. Let's craft up five just to make it easier to see. It outputted all the redstone into there and here the energy conduits are waiting for the crafting to finish. And it's done. And we got five energy conduits. The same concept can be applied for, let's say, a tesseract. Let's say I want to um, craft a tesseract using resonant ender and tesseract frames. So we will need the same setup here, almost. Let me get a few more conduits here. We just need two. These can sit next to each other. They use the same style, so we're gonna need a magma crucible and a liquid transposer and two storage bus. Don't need to use the fuzzy, just a normal one. Magma crucible will only output to the right and take from the top. The liquid transposer will take from the top and left and output right. We'll need another interface. I'll place that like so. The storage buses... Oh, they didn't color. Interesting. Oh well. They'll be on the network. There we go. We tell these to do the same thing, but now for uh, Ender Pearl, let's get a few stacks of them. Um, let me just check here. The Ender Pearl Crucible 250 mega, uh, mega buckets, millibuckets. So, in theory, if I put one, two, three, four, that will make one bucket. And for the Tesseract, we need a total of 1,000. So one bucket needs to be in here. And then we also need these Tesseract frames, of course. Let's just test it out by putting one there. And it's filling up. Perfect. So now we need to set the recipe up to export four oh this is a bit tricky I'm just gonna do that and one of those that will make did get a tesseract yes you always need to have one of these for these recipes so you'll have to make the craft yourself once so four ender pearl one tesseract frame we put it into this one here and on purpose now, I haven't set these storage buses up. So let's see what happens if I put this in, make a bunch of Tesseract frames, and we go and ask for one of these. Nothing's happening, except... Oh! Oh yeah, it picked the first one. Yeah, you don't want to do it like this, believe me. But it picked the first one, and it's crafting it up using the ones that we have. So let's make sure that they are very locked to this. So this one here takes only ender pearls at insert and this one takes only tesseracts on insert. Perfect. So now if I ask for a tesseract 
boom. It put in four, and it's sitting here now with Tesseract frame, just waiting. And once it has all four Ender Pearls smelted, it will start crafting. This takes a bit of time, but yeah, I think it worked quite well. I also have this set up with, with the energy cells. Let me see. Oh, I can't be in that. The redstone energy cell. Um, we need an energy cell frame. So that's four buckets of redstone. That's quite a lot. I think it's... Uh, how much is it for one again? Let's see. The redstone. Yeah, it's 100, so it's 40, I think. Yeah, 40 redstone. So you need to set up the same thing. However, you cannot have this system on the same subnetwork as the one crafting the energy cells. Because, remember, it will try to store redstone in here. And I suppose you could set it up so this one also takes uh, cells. That should actually work. Let's try. So we need an energy cell frame for this one to take. And we need one of those. And we're going to need some redstone. So let's just make a pattern of 40 empty makes one of those you obviously have to add the other kind of crafts afterwards so just as a reminder there um, we have the energy cell frames let's make a bunch of them and put in a bunch of redstone as well and craft up a full frame and then craft up 10 of these. Now this one will get a lot. This one is now storing that. This one is probably holding on to some items. Let's see. Once this one fills up, it takes a little bit of time. Now that I think of it, it probably does not bother. But I'm not sure. Let's see. Five, six, seven, eight, and nine, and four buckets. Now it's still accepting redstone. That's probably for the conduits that I've started crafting. And here's ten conduits as well. So it will start smelting redstone to make the liquid for the energy conduits. So it works out pretty well. Now that that one is done, it will start filling these. And use up all that. Yeah. Works out pretty well. So you can put that on the same network then. Yeah. Probably should do that in my main world. Anyhow guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. As always. If you have any questions. Don't uh, don't worry about asking them. Uh, just uh, throw a comment. Or uh, uh, hit me up in the IRC channel. Uh, if you find me. For those of you who joined the Applied Logistics channel. I can highly recommend that. It's a uh, good chatter there. So, anyhow, guys, see you in the next tutorial or the next episode. Take care, guys. Bye bye.